Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2004 Jeep Wrangler. This is a long wheelbase or LJ uh, version. It's got 90,000 miles on it. It's a single owner, clean title, clean Carfax, California car. We can finance this car through Cuddle. We can put an extended warranty on it. We welcome trades. So we've had a couple of these in our shop. Uh, the other ones were conversions from customers. This we bought um, on a trade-in. Um, from another dealer, so it's been modified. It's got bushwalk, uh, bushwhacker fender flares on it. It's got Rancho suspension on it. Um, if you're not familiar with these, they're the long wheelbase. They made them between 04 and 06. They've got Dana uh, 30 and Dana 44 axles in them. Uh, pretty cool. This has also got some Under Armour um, underneath it. It's got sliders on, as you can see. It's got, um, I think that's Spider um, side armor. It's really, really clean. Cosmetically, I don't think there's any dents or dings or scratches on it. Uh, if you're familiar with this, so the conversion is done by a company called Great Tops. Uh, I think they were, Great Tops and AEV are the two companies that did them, if I'm not mistaken. Although I'm not that familiar with them. So you have billet machined um, spare tire care, which is nice. This is all Rhino lined. So that's a new tire. You can see the back bumper's in good shape. It has a tow package on it. <coughs> this swings open, so. All really clean. Uh, it doesn't look like the back is used at all. I'm not sure when the conversion it was done. It doesn't look like it was done that long ago, but I'm not sure about that. <coughs> so that just pops in, swivels to the right. So, super clean. Again, uh, cosmetically, it's in really good shape. So these are Yokohama, they're Geolander uh, MTs. I think they're 37, 12 and a half, uh, 15s. They got about 50% tread on them. The spare has not been used. So you've got LED lights. You've also got, they put a light bar in. And on the front, uh, you've got upgraded headlights, which are super nice. I've got a 12,000 pound winch, uh, which has not been used. We've got the remote for that. You have LED driving lights in the front bumper. Nothing special about the engine. It's got, um, let's see if I can open that real quick for you. I'm not sure if I can do this with one hand or not. Yeah, there we go. So, pretty clean. Business as usual, nothing special. So they did put a stereo in this with Bluetooth. Now it's got manual uh, windows on it, which we like. We don't run into any kind of problems if you're off-roading and you're in the water. Uh, it's got a nice sound system in the back. So speakers back here. It's got a rear sliding window, which is nice. And then uh, dome lights up here. I have one master key and we have um, the original books. <clears throat> and the uh, winch remote is in here uh, with books. So it starts right up. Uh, pretty straightforward as far as interior stuff goes. Nothing complicated about the interior of an 04 Jeep. So you can see the passenger side door panel is clean. Passenger side seat is really clean. Dash is really clean. No cracks or wear and tear. You've got a speaker here for the Bluetooth system. Everything else is good. No indicator lights or codes. Uh, so this is Bluetooth. You do have AC. Uh, you have overdrive also, and then your transfer case. We've uh, we've put all that stuff into gear. So far high, four low, uh, all works. Um, trying to think of anything else. Um, can't think of anything else. Super nice conversion, super clean. There's no rust anywhere underneath this thing. It's dry underneath it. There's a little seepage on the rear um, axle, um, but for an 04, nothing that, uh, I mean, that doesn't surprise me. The front's dry. Um, and I've got, uh, I've got pictures of the undercarriage uh, on our website if you have questions about that. So anyway, super nice rig. It's been, uh, we love the color combination. We also like the upgrades. Uh, as far as the uh, the lights and uh, suspension. Um, if you've got questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us. We can be reached at 
227-2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.